Hi guys. Today I'm going to show you on this uh, Dell Latitude E6400 how to find uh, a driver for a device uh, that has a pretty generic name and you are unsure uh, what driver you must install for it. Uh, I could go on Dell's website and uh, download every single driver that I find for Windows 7 64 bits, install all of them and hope for the best. I already installed some of them, they fixed a few of the missing drivers, but these two seem to be pretty stubborn and I did not uh, realize uh, yet uh, what are, are they and what I should download. I don't really like downloading everything and installing everything because it's uh, stupid and pointless in my opinion and actually another but it's just my opinion another thing when you buy a laptop they should have printed somewhere on the laptop the exact devices that there are uh, put inside your specific laptop because uh, they vary the wi-fi board uh, i don't know a video card they have a lot of different things from uh, uh, specific laptop to specific laptop even into in the same uh, model so the same model could come out with uh, a lot of different configurations so that I, I I really think it should be printed somewhere onto the laptop the base configuration of it so you know what to download but yeah that's just me and uh, Probably other people are not bothered by this. There are uh, softwares that download automatically the drivers, but I don't really like to use those. So yeah, for me, for example, this Broadcom, it's some kind of network. Uh, it needs some kind of network driver, but I'm not sure what kind. So I'm going to click properties, go into details and hardware IDs. And we need this. VID 0A5C and PID 5800 and this we uh, we enter into Google really easy and we start uh, searching for the results and from the results that you find I honestly I'm working with a lot of laptops and computers, it's my hobby. I've never had one where uh, I couldn't figure out what device that one is from these uh, two numbers. So from this, uh, in the second you, you go here, one of the results is telling you it's some kind of uh, smart card reader. At this point you could try the following thing. You could try to go into uh, Dell website and try to download just uh, that smart card reader. It's way easier when you know what you are searching from the list because uh, as you will see in a moment, you, uh, this will allow me for Dell, for this model that I'm working on now will allow me to detect by itself, but I'm, I'm doing this as an example because a lot of other manufacturers do not give you this option. And as I said, uh, aftermarket softwares that do this, I don't really like them. Because they most, uh, most times they come with malware attached, so yeah. At this point, uh, Windows 7 64-bit is already checked. And you could uh, try and narrow your, your search here, but uh, if you can see smart card reader, what could it be? Video no, system management, system utilities, security. So you could go and try in security and see what you get here, but uh, yeah. They are not really easy to understand. Each of these is going with Dell Control Vault. Now, I'm not really sure this, what I found, this smart card reader could be a part of uh, 
Dell Control Volt. But I do not know that. I have no way of knowing that. So at this point, you could try uh, other, uh, I don't know, control point, uh, other uh, variants to see this again, control point. It could be. It could have something to do with control point. But there are tons of drivers. It's really annoying guessing which one of them to download. So the easiest way I usually did is to go um, into forums, like here. Somebody is asking for this particular driver. And a lot of times uh, I've uh, really entered and found something really useful, like this, for example. You can see here. Somebody is saying that basically it's like I thought, uh, first it's something related to control volt. So that narrows uh, things uh, way down. Now you, you do a little bit of, uh, of reading and in the end you will most likely find the correct driver. I'm going to stop the video for, uh, for a moment because I want to do a little bit of reading. I haven't prepared for this before. I just needed to install some drivers and realized that it's quite annoying sometimes and I, I want to try to make a video in, and help people explain how you can find them when you are in a situation with stuff like this that you have no idea what they are. So I'm going to do some reading and see exactly what I need to download from here to, to fix the first one, not the second one. We will do the same for the second one. Okay, after doing a little bit of uh, reading on the first forum, forum uh, that got these uh, numbers, uh, I narrow it down to these two variants. This one here and this one here. Now, these are two different versions. Uh, you look at the numbers 2.3.309, 2.3.24. So this one should be newer, A11, probably is a simpler name for the this version, A10, uh, 9th of April 2013, 6th uh, of March, March uh, 2013. Uh, this is newer. You do not really look uh, after last updated. I do not know what that is. I think it's the last time when somebody did some work on this pack, on this uh, AXA, but uh, you cannot go by last updated. You need to go by release date and uh, yeah, I'm going to download it and uh, hope for the best. If this is not, uh, not the correct driver, this uh, will uh, tell us basically. And we will not get uh, not get the update here, not to get the driver installed. So we will wait uh, for it to do its thing. Again, for this laptop in particular, there is a uh, somewhat automated program that could install the missing drivers. But I'm doing this as a general thing for. Uh, many laptops and computers. So hopefully this is uh, the driver we are searching for and it will install correctly. And maybe you saw it in the background, it just went from here to Dell Control Volt here. So it is clear this is our uh, our driver, in this case without a fingerprint sensor, because this laptop does not have the fingerprint sensor, it, it's able just to, to read a, a card. You can see it needs to have firmware updated. So, uh, if we said uh, that to us, let me just check, uh, this is the firm firmware update. Driver control volt update. 
I'm going to check for the firmware to see which one is the newest. 8.23, 8.29. So again, this finished. I'm going to download the firmware in this case. Uh, honestly, you will not see many devices that ask you for firmware update when uh, when installing the driver, but in this case it did, so yeah. And it seems I will not include this in my video, because from what I see here... Uh, yes, installed correctly. This is uh, uh, for MS-DOS, so I need to to use this with an MS-DOS bootable uh, USB drive or uh, DVD drive, uh, DVD disk. So I'm going to do this later and not include it into this video, but many firmware updaters uh, work in Windows. Sadly, this is not the case, so it will take too long to, to do this on video. At this point, let's try to do the same thing with our last remaining needed driver. Again, properties. You go on details, hardware IDs, 8086. Let's close the forum, it's not needed anymore. Sorry, 8086, I typed the wrong number. Hey, where is it? It ran away from me. 2A47. 2A47. And let's see what we get. It's something clearly from Intel that even a Lenovo T500 laptop uh, needs. That doesn't really give you too much info or enough info. It's something related probably to AMT. So that's a little bit more info. Yeah, you can see most of them of the results come from Lenovo, but uh, it's not a problem because many manufacturers use similar components on their motherboards. So this is for a particular component. It doesn't really matter if it's for Lenovo or anything else. The driver, uh, now just uh, as a side note, I've installed drivers uh, from Lenovo on Dell laptops. I've installed uh, drivers from Dell on HP laptops. If you cannot find the correct driver for your exact model, no problem. You can install from other manufacturer and 99% of the times it will work because it's a driver for a co component, not for the whole laptop. So, yeah, just a side note. Let's try and search uh, for something with AMT. Now, this could be a little bit annoying. Let me click on all, because I don't really know where this could be, but I'm guessing somewhere in the chipset. Uh, yeah. <laughs> now, probably it's one of... Uh, one of these two, but of course I have no idea which one of them. So I'm going to try them one by one and show and uh, see what happens. And I've seen this happen before. It, it doesn't start uh, installing the driver right away. I have no clue why, so I'm just going to go up to here to see where uh, it copied the files, 41GKG, and I'm going to go onto C drive and install it myself. I have no idea why it's not starting by itself. So it's here, this is the driver that got extracted, active management technology, and let's see what will happen. Hopefully this is the correct driver, but I'm not sure. Yeah, it is. You can see it just installed. So at this point, next, finish, and we have no more 
no more missing drivers. Absolutely every single driver is installed. And uh, yeah, sorry, <laughs> I need to close this before closing it. Uh, this by uh, by searching like I showed you in Google for those two numbers. You can find absolutely any driver. Now it doesn't really mean that this driver is avail available for Windows uh, Vista for example or for Windows uh, XP. But at least it gives you a chance to search in a way bigger database from way more manufacturers. And your chances will be way bigger. So yeah, <laughs> that's about it. Uh, thanks guys for watching. Uh, I really hope this video is uh, useful for you. Of course, when you have to download the good drivers that worked for you, um, you should keep them. For example, for me, these uh, drivers uh, were needed. Windows 7 did not install these particular things. Keep them in a safe place so you don't have to search them again. And yeah, that's about it. So thanks for watching. Uh, comment what you want in the comments. Like the video. Check out my other videos. Subscribe. And see you again in the next one. Bye.